Alrighty, well she's not going too bad considering uh, I had the tension set too low initially. Another thing that seems to be the trouble is the feed dogs are so low they barely even catch the fabric. So it's sort of gone back to a bit like when you use chiffon or organza, uh, which is basically you, you see through stuff. You've got to actually hold the back and pull it as you're going. If you don't, it'll sort of sit in the same spot, but if you keep a, a little bit of pressure on it, it uh, putters along all right. Uh, having said that, the stitch length isn't anywhere near as good as I expected. But I found out an intriguing thing. Now, apparently with the DX502, which is a model after this, you've only got one knob and it's not quite as long a machine. Looks a bit more plasticky versus heavy castings. Um, and they have some little switch on the side which disengage your feed dogs. But this is where it is on the Janome combi. Right there. So it's your stitch length. So you turn that from short up to higher and you keep going and you spin it right past four and that there. Look, there's your top of the machine like you. And that's supposed to be your feed dogs. So that's how you get them to drop down. Now I might try and do it on camera if we want to focus appropriately. And there you go, you just seen them drop right down. The trouble is though, when they come back, they don't quite go as good as they could and you've got to spin it, I think one cycle and bang, there we go, they go up again. And uh, yeah, but anyway, for whatever reason, the height's not quite right. I don't know if it's adjustable or not. Um, I don't think it really is. I think there may be something my mechanic could probably do inside there. But the fact is, so long as you just keep a light tension on it as you're feeding through, it works fine. And it doesn't really matter because I've got another seven different machines that I can sew on. But at least now, you know, if I need to, I've got both sides running. Uh, although this one just, you know, requires you to keep a slight bit of tension pulling backwards uh, because the feed dogs aren't quite high enough. But it doesn't really matter, you know, I've got stacks of other uh, good machines hanging around.